cold, 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 cold. Oh, uh, let's change all these songs again. Okay, it sure is chilly out here. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently, he got into some legal trouble, and that's why he's like that now. Really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. <laughs> so, what are you going to tell me? What? What? Why did you stop having one-night stands and all that? I started working here. I don't know. After I started working here, I felt like I didn't need to do that anymore. Maybe I was just lonely. Yes, yeah, cute. I also got fed up with everyone complaining about me smoking on the bed. You're going to burn the bed with that? <laughs> yeah, whatever. If you ever need a hug, let me know. You don't need one-night stands for a hug. Okay. You left me thinking, though. What's your thing? What's your fetish? <laughs> Let's talk about fetishes then, okay. You strike me as the kind to have an overpower fetish of sorts. You want to feel totally swayed by someone, have consensual yet forceful sex with your partner. <laughs> Jill says nothing. Did I hit a bullseye? You have quite the imagination, girl. Honey, some service here. Uh, I'm here, don't scream. Dorothy, you two hanging out at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Uh, we were just talking. Is that what they call it these days? <laughs> what do you want? Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from a vending machine? Ugh. But I like you. <laughs> do you dislike my presence so much? Sweet and non-alcoholic. Okay. Something sweet and non-alcoholic. Oh, there we go. That's easy enough. Sweet. One of these. Have a sugar rush. Bam. Like you asked. See? You don't get this kind of treatment from a vending machine. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. Lawrence? Who's that? Uh, he's a friend of mine. He's a vending machine. <laughs> okay. Oh, but how impolite of me. Uh, I'm Lovey, and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes, nice to meet you. Oh, um, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say. Hey, yup, why? Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me. Mostly about your, um, pluckiness. <laughs> and here I was thinking, it was because I'm a sex worker. <laughs> so much for trying to be subtle, fucking hell. Hey, I take pride in my job, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous though? Um, I know how to take care of myself, thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? Uh, no. <laughs> I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know unless you try, right? Last time, I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy. It was a success! <laughs> okay, let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. Okay, firstly, I'll do some research on the target, OS servers, how the information is stored and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First. I'll secure things from my side. I'll start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh huh. After that, I'll start testing the networks. I'll go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I'll go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. Okay. Then, when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I'll go and try to become a super user and get what I need. Uh, how'd you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is just using a buffer overflow. But, <laughs> what? Why is she shaking? What happens next? What happens? <laughs> uh, I'll create a back door in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I can't... I can't handle it. <laughs> Alma, hack me! 
Hack me like you've never hacked anything before. <laughs> the fuck? Make my buffer overflow. Create a backdoor in me. Escalate your user privileges. Find flaws in my security. <laughs> uh, sorry, I got carried away. No shit, what happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead. <laughs> Suggestive scenes. Yeah, I see them. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you've recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny Lilim. Uh, an unexploited market. Okay, I see. Oh, looks like my ride's here. Okay, your ride? Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it alright to ask that from him? That's okay, I've known him since preschool. It just so happens that he got married to my sister. Hey Dorothy, do you need a ride? Uh, can you drop me by the third street? Sure, it's on the way. Cool, I'll take your offer. Bye honey. Later Jill. Take care. Um, the street seems noisy. Oh, client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Such a small, yet comfortable place. Truly, an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can just sit and kill their insides. <laughs> Truly, a real persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Okay, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. Okay, what will you have? 17. What? I said 17. 7 plus teen. Uh, what does that even mean? What does it mean to you? Just to be sure, 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. Fucking hell. 17. Alright, let's try and find a drink that has 17 flavours? Would that help? I don't know what the hell this guy's talking about. Should we just give him a fedora? <laughs> Alright, fucking... I don't know. I have one of these. Let's pump in some ice just for the shits and giggles. Just take that. How is this a 17? It isn't. You said 17 would only be related to the drink if I thought it was. And I think this isn't. Oh, you subverted my expectations by taking me literally. Sneaky. Okay, and what brings you here, Mr... I'm... Amandio. Virgilio Amandio. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. Okay, this guy's got a question mark on his forehead. Okay, anyway... And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place is called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. The golden hall full of never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. Um, we've got some arcade machines on the corner. No, no, no. You're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to a mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people. And I wanted to see waitresses and food. I wanted to see the bar in all of its decadent glory. Well, out of luck, today's been a quiet. Not that I'm very surprised given how things have been going in the streets though. Humans are a nasty bunch, that must be true. Okay, making a ruckus coming at each other, but that's to be expected from the only mammal to kill its own. Uh, I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh yeah, give me an example, not zoologist bartender. Like I said, I don't know exactly else, I just know that isn't right. If memory serves, once a lion takes over a pride, every cub born from another lion is killed or something. Takes over a pride. You can't take over a pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. This guy. You need to stop making things up, non-zoologist bartender. But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? Um, the atomic number of chlorine? <laughs> no, and Chloe is a name, not a number, you know. Fucking hell. The group where halogens are in is the periodic table. Yeah. Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I give up. Tell me. Uh, 17 is us. Uh huh. Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. It's 23. What is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well,. They're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. This guy's a fucking idiot. Primal. Do you want anything else? Uh, I'd like a single plum floating in perfume, served in a man's hat. Okay. 
He wants plum floating perfume in a son of a bitch. Yeah, that's the fedora. <laughs> that's the fedora. Here. Yeah, you did. Wait, you totally did. Enjoy. I will. I'll drink this um perfume. Uh huh. You don't really have to. Yeah, that'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender, have you ever thought about death? Uh, in what way? What if we're already dead, both of us? What? <laughs> what tells you I even existed before I entered that door? How can you assure me that this reality is real? And we were not, in fact, in heaven or hell all along. What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written up by an unemployed 20-something in his room? Um, I could punch you to make you feel reality. <laughs> I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Such a closed-minded way of seeing things. You need to get away from factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach. you will never reach enlightenment if you don't start. The habanera has started. That means Twilight of the Gods in German, by the way. Um, well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order. Uh, what? what? A couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Oh, hell. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. Oh, shit. I see lots of flashes in the distance. Most likely gunshots. Yo, Jill, come here a sec. What's up? Okay, so breaking news up here. Newscaster says about five gigabytes of reports proving that several white night squads have been used to cover what illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counter-terrorism forces from neighbouring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the Vice President. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zabatsu Court CEO on the subject, but until then... Yeah, things are ugly in and outside of that bank, it seems. I'd recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. Okay, what if they break in, though? They won't. Even then, that bar has quite the security system. And I'll be here protecting you, as an added bonus. Okay, I guess I'll stay tonight then. Okay, I'll get you the spare mattress. Do you mind sleeping in my office? Um, guess it's fine. Good. Let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have Zankantu on hand, just in case. The metal bat with the nails? There's nothing it can't bash! <laughs> okay, worried about Say Jill and Four. Hope everything's better by tomorrow. Okay, one mistake. I got that guy the wrong drink. Never mind. I've got a bit of money, so that's not so bad.